So welcome to the change tracking for ADO.native services uh, How Do I. So in this short How Do I, we will show you how to add change tracking to the ADO.net data services uh, for use in Silverlight. So what we have here is a Silverlight project, and the Silverlight project uh, uses a data grid which is bound via data binding to data source, which is coming from ADO.net data, data services. So as probably most of you know, that means that we have a code behind class with all the entities and so on. The problem is they don't have change tracking. So what we need now is we need to generate all the change tracking um, for the classes in, those co in this context. In order to do this, what we do is we go to project, add new item, we select an MTT4 template again, we kill all the contents and go to the gallery and look from EDMX to C Sharp. So this is a template that adds um, change tracking of entities to ADO.NET data services and it's provided by MSDN. Uh, it's free to use. We just insert this one. And as you can see, what it actually does is it goes to, the, to directly to the IDE and finds the, the service reference up here. So it gets service references and then it processes uh, for each service reference processes uh, all the items in the service references. So when I save this file and I go here, you can see that there is a Northwind entities and it's a writing entity event uh, and a reading entity event, which we use to catch all the property changed here. And then we go to the categories and add all the data binding stuff that we need in order to get the changing events and the tracking. And finally, this means that if we go back here to the context, we do have, besides the normal methods, we do have entities, uh, which is this here, and it's a read-only collection, uh, which provides me the modified state that which I can use later on, for example, for a safe event. So this is a short demo on how to add Adrian data services in two minutes to uh, your Silverlight project. Hope you enjoyed it. Have fun.